Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. And thank you for joining us for our daily devotional. I hope all is well with you and your family. So right now, we are looking at Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. What is God in store for us in this chapter? And verse, it says here, a time for everything. Okay, verse 1 says, there is a time for everything. And the season for every activity under the heavens. So this time here is not is not just the chronos time, which is if I say it's already it's already nine AM today. So that's chronos time. This one is more on a Kairos time. It's an opportune time. It's a, There is a time for everything. A season for every activity. Okay, a time with a purpose. So there is a time to be happy and a time to be sad. A time to fight and a time to be healed. So, how do we use our time? We have a set amount of it. Our time doesn't grow, okay? It doesn't grow. It is like a candle. It is limited and every day you are burning, okay? Your time in this planet, it's not like every time you have a birthday, you are adding another year. If you look at it in this manner, you are actually having one less year to live. Okay, so you every birthday you have one less year to live. Until your destined time, your time is done. Okay. The psalmist says, teach us to number our days so that we may live according to your will. Even the psalmist knows that for, that for you to live a wise life, you need to number your days. Meaning, you know where you are spending it. Okay? You see, every year we add so many responsibilities with ourselves. We got this promotion, we got this new work, we got this new task, we got this new responsibility. But every year we are not adding time. We still have the same energy. Okay? So you did not have 25 hours this year. Next year, you're going to have 26 hours. Your energy is still the same. In fact, every time the year goes by, the energy is lessened. Okay? The energy is lessened. Meaning, if you have, let's say, 1,200 energy per day, sometimes as you go older, grow older, that energy starts to diminish. And what are we doing with it? We spend our time using other energies that are not meant for this year. We have used the energy of our future. Okay? That's why when the future comes, there is no energy left there. You just lay down for the rest of your old age. Why? Because you have abused your body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So there is a time to work and a time to rest. 
If you say to yourself that I will only rest when I die, then you will die early. But if you say I will rest as God intends it to be, morning I will work, evening I will rest. Then you will live longer. You will be even more productive once you know how to rest. In this hustle culture that we are in, we are encouraged to really work hard, even harder, and not even rest. Just to reach our dreams. And we, when we reach our dreams, there is no energy anymore to live that dream. So what I'm trying to say here is there is a time for everything. A season for every activity under the heavens. For our young people who are listening, do not hasten your time. That you are still a student. You, you are excited to be an adult. And I tell you, if you become adult, you will wish one day that you will become a child again. If your time now is for friendship, do not jump into relationship, romantic relationship. Because you will bear, carry so many heartaches along the way. Live according to God's timetable. Live according to your age. People who miss some stages in their lives, when they grow old, they will be back. They will go back to that stage again. So if they miss playing when they were young because they work early, I tell you, when they get old, they will play. Okay? Enjoy friendship when you are in your high school. Don't be more into romantic relationship. There is a time for it. Every activity under the heavens. There is nothing new under the sun. It may change in its outer form, but it's still a human. creation. Anyway, you don't compare also your time for others. If you're comparing yourself to others, you did not start where they started. If you're comparing yourself with other more successful, then you're comparing yourself to a wrong people. Okay? You only compare yourself to yourself. You don't compare yourself to others. Because either you get arrogant or you get discouraged. Either or of the two. Run your race. Run your track. Do not envy others' track. Because you will get step upon. If you go to their track, they will step upon you. You focus on your track. And then you run your race. And even if you are in your track, if you don't move, then you will not move forward. So yes, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. Jesus said, you have enough worry for today. Do not worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry itself. So you just live one day at a time. If you cannot fix it for today, then just leave it.
focus on what you can fix today. What you can do today, do not bring it tomorrow also. Okay? Especially problems. If you can fix it today, fix it right away. Because the more you don't fix it, the longer you don't fix it, the more you get discouraged. The energy will be used up. Okay? You will have no strength to do those things that you are you are ought to do because you get discouraged when whenever you remember the problem so fix the problem right away and deal with it head on okay So oh, yes, there is a time for every activity under the heavens. Just do what you can. And what you can't fix, leave it to God. Pray for wisdom. And God will give you wisdom how to fix that problem. Money is not always the answer. Sometimes you need wisdom. Most of the time you need wisdom. Thank you for joining us today. The Lord bless you. And may God prosper the works of your hand. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this time. You have given us a purposeful time where we can learn your word. You can reflect with what we are doing. I pray, God, that you will be with us throughout the day. You will help us, Lord, recognize your doing in our lives. Forgive us, Lord. We have sinned against you by actions, by our words, and by our thoughts. We have not loved you with all our strength, soul, mind. And we have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us also, Father, for not doing what we are ought to do. And also for the things that we should have not done, but we have done it so. Forgive us also, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. Pray, Lord, you'll bless everybody who will be listening and watching this video. Minister to each one. Let your word be a lamp unto our feet, Lord, and a light unto our path. For your word, O Lord, is sweeter than honey and better than life. Thank you, Father. We bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. We bless you, Lord. Have your way in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. All the best, everyone. The Lord bless you. Stay safe. See you tomorrow, 9 a.m. Bye-bye.